Good evening and a warm welcome to Empowering You and Your Families for Victory. Moen and I send our love greetings to every one of you. I trust that you all had a great weekend and this is a wonderful Monday evening. Praise the Lord Jesus. God is a good God. His mercy is everlasting. His truth endureth unto all generations. Praise the Lord. Tonight I want to speak to you for a few minutes and pray for you. And I want to speak to you about world overcoming faith. World overcoming faith. The word world is from the word cosmos. It's an interesting word. It's a broad word. In John 3.16 is the verse of scripture that I got saved on. And when I got saved, I thought that the word world there, God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son, that whoever believeth in him should not perish but have everlasting life. In the beginning, I thought that that word just meant people. But as I studied the word of God, then I saw in the Bible that the word world is from the word cosmos and it does mean people but it means more than people it means creation and it also means the systems that God intended to govern humanity and creation which is the kingdom of God system now through the fall of man Adam, the first Adam, created high treason, and he committed high treason, and he handed it all to the devil, and the devil became the god of this world. Then God so loved people, creation, and systems that he sent his son to die for the world and redeem the world. Now we know we are living in the resurrection side of life and the ascension side of life. So we are, are ruling and reigning through Christ. Praise the Lord. And so our destiny is to overcome whatever the devil has infiltrated into the world. Because the world belongs to God and God gave the earth to man. And so that is why we are here to enforce Jesus' victory and enforce Satan's defeat through faith in the word of God in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. And so I'm going to read 1 John 5 and verse 1 and verse 4 and verse 5. Verse 1 declares... Whosoever believeth that Jesus is the Christ is born of God. So, if you believe that Jesus Christ is the Messiah, the Redeemer, the one who came to redeem all that was lost, then you are born of God. As soon as you believe that Jesus Christ is the Messiah, you are born of God. Then verse 4 says, for whatsoever, now it goes to say whatsoever. Verse 1 says whosoever. Verse 4 says whatsoever is born of God overcometh the world, and this is the victory that overcometh the world, even our faith. Then it goes to people now, it says who is he that overcometh the world? But he that believeth that Jesus is the Son of God. So the word of God is so powerful and so beautiful. First of all, when we believe that Jesus is the Christ, we believe that Jesus is the Son of God. God guarantees us that our destiny is to overcome the world. Now, the world will mean creation, the systems that govern the world. 
But verse 4 says, whatsoever is born of God. And then it goes on to say, overcometh the world. And this is the victory that overcometh the world, even our faith. So even our faith is born of God. And our faith has the ability to enforce Jesus' victory, has the ability to enforce Satan's uh, defeat. Praise the Lord Jesus. Now, in John 16 and verse 33, Jesus said, These things I have spoken unto you, that in me you might have peace, wholeness. is wholeness in Jesus Christ. Shalom. Nothing missing, nothing broken. In Christ is total life, prosperity. But he says, in the world, you will have tribulation, you'll have trouble. But then he tells us what to focus on. He speaks about our emotions, our thoughts. He says, be of good cheer, I have overcome the world. Can you see the connection here? We are born of God. We overcome the world. Our faith is born of God. Our faith overcomes the world and gives us victory. But here the scriptures say that we can be of good cheer even in troubled times in the world because our sufficiency is in Christ. Our contentment is in Christ. We are not looking for contentment in a comfort zone of situations. Our contentment is in the one who overcome the world and our faith links us unto and into and through the one who overcame the world and that makes us world overcomers. Philippians 4, 6 and verse 7 be careful for nothing. You cannot be gripped with worry and be joyful at the same time. It just doesn't go. So he says, be of good cheer. I mean, you, you're going to be happy. You're going to be joyful. But he says here, yeah, Paul says in Philippians 4, 6, don't let worry. Be careful for nothing. Don't live a worried life. But yet in everything, by prayer and supplication, together with thanksgiving, let your requests be made known unto God. Then the eight is, and the peace of God, the shalom, the wholeness of God, the total life prosperity, which passeth all human understanding, will keep your hearts and minds through Jesus Christ. This peace that God gives us because we trust him, because we cast our cares upon him, because we are living a life of faith, because our faith links us to divine omnipotence, our faith links us to a world overcoming Christ on the throne. He overcame the devil, the world, the flesh on the cross, but he's now on the throne and we are on the throne with him to overcome what he overcame, but we overcome it through the word of God and through the faith of God. So peace ruling in your heart is vital for ruling your world, even if you are in any trouble. Any trouble should not override your peace in your heart and in your mind, because your faith anchors you in Christ and you have peace, you have shalom, you have serenity, you have calmness in your mind and in your heart. Now, if your peace is disturbed, you have to ask yourself, what is disturbing your peace? Most of the time, it is unbelief. Most of the time, it's also fear. Fear of the future. Fear of running out. Fear of failure. You know, there's all different types of fear. So when you look at your peace that's being disturbed and you see what is disturbing it, 
just deal and cast that thing out that's disturbing and get your faith focused on Jesus Christ and you'll find there'll always be shalom, shalom ruling your heart and mind and then the faith of God works in an environment of peace. The kingdom of God is righteousness, peace, and joy in the Holy Ghost. And we're speaking about the righteousness of faith. God richly bless you, family, and allow me to pray for you. Father, in the name of Jesus, I thank you that we are born of God. Therefore, your word declares that every one of your children are world overcomers. We thank you that you've given everyone a measure of faith, and this faith is also the victory that overcomes the world, that when we engage this faith of God, we engage a lifestyle where Christ has overcome the world, and then we have good cheer, and we have peace in our hearts and our minds. In the name of Jesus, I release the joy of the Lord of an overcomer in each one of your lives. And in the name of Jesus, I release the peace of God that passeth all human understanding to keep your mind stable and keep your heart stable. In Jesus' name, I bless you with this. Amen and amen and amen. Bye-bye. See you tomorrow at 7 o'clock. Bye-bye.